Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are continuing on with rotations, specifically with IXL L9, which is just finding the coordinates of newly uh, rotated figures. So every problem is going to give you a graph like this and they're going to give you a basic shape. Uh, for this problem it's going to be a triangle and then they instruct you to rotate the shape a certain uh, amount of degrees in a certain direction usually around the origin, and uh, figure out what the new coordinates are going to be. So uh, this one is nicer because you do not have to actually draw the figure. When you're using our nice little rotation rules here, all you have to do is just write down the new coordinates and you are done. It's going to be a lot quicker. So first thing I would do is I would look and see what uh, exactly they're asking us to rotate or how much they're asking us to rotate. And uh, right here it's saying in 90 degrees counterclockwise we'll go over here to our rule 90 degrees counterclockwise again down here the negative 90 is just clockwise not counterclockwise that's the negative direction so 90 positive right here we go for our original points of x comma y to negative y comma x so we switch the x and the y and we flip the sign of y so we'll go back and we'll flip negative 7 or negative 9 and 7 so it's 7, negative 9. And then remember, we are flipping the sign of our y, in which case right here would be uh, positive 7 to negative 7. So we're going to switch them. Positive 7 becomes negative 7. And then we keep the negative 5. Okay, so we switch them, and then we flip the y. So positive 1 becomes negative 1. And negative 7 stays negative 7. There you go. Like I said, much easier. Okay, uh, 180 degrees counterclockwise. We'll go over here. And I'd like to add that whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise doesn't matter. 180 degrees is going to end up the same place no matter which direction you start rotating it in. So there's 180 here. And we're going to keep the position of the X and the Y, but we are going to switch both of these signs. So positive becomes negative and negative becomes positive. So we'll just come over here. Negative 9 comma negative 2 just becomes 9 comma 2. Negative 1 comma negative 2 becomes 1 comma 2. And negative 8 comma negative 8 becomes 8 comma 8. Easy one. Cool. 270 degrees counterclockwise. We go down to our rules here. 270 degrees counterclockwise. We switch the x and the y. It becomes y and x. And then we flip the sign of the x. So we'll go back. Uh, so 2 comma negative 9 becomes negative 9 comma negative 2 because we are flipping that sign of the x coordinate. Positive 8 comma negative 9 becomes negative 9 comma negative 8. Positive 8 comma negative 2 becomes negative 2 comma negative 8. And then 2 comma negative 2 will become negative 2 comma negative 2. Right. Okay, 90 degrees counterclockwise, nothing new. 180 counterclockwise, nothing new. 90 counterclockwise. Uh, what I want to do is show you guys one where it gives you a clockwise one. I guess I'll maybe I'll, I can do it next time uh, after I finish this one. So let's see. So it's 180 degrees counterclockwise. So remember, we're just going to flip the signs, right? We're going to keep x and y in the same place, but just flip the signs for both. So negative 6, negative 9 becomes positive 6, positive 9. Negative 5, negative 9 becomes positive 5, positive 9. And negative 6, comma 0 becomes positive 6 and 0. 90 degrees counterclockwise. So I will just leave it here. Uh, you should have pretty much the same problems uh, up until the end. Again, the only variation you might see is the word clockwise instead of counterclockwise. Very important to note. Remember, counterclockwise is this direction. So you're rotating uh, this shape, 90 degrees counterclockwise, is going to end up over here. Whereas 90 degrees clockwise is going to end up over here. You're going the other dire direction or you're going backwards. Now, something I want to emphasize and that I kind of touched on earlier is 90 degrees clockwise, so negative 90, right? The rule over here, negative 90. It's going to be the same as positive 270. They have the same rule. 
And the reason why that is, is let's say we want to rotate this in the clockwise uh, negative 90 direction, or nine, sorry, 90 direction. So that'll be over here, it'll end up right here. Now let's say you rotate this in the positive 270 counterclockwise direction. Well, you go 90, 180, 270. So whether you go forward 270 or backwards 90, you're gonna end up at the exact same place every single time. It's the same position. So that's why this the rule applies. And so keep that in mind if they ask you to do 270 in the clockwise direction, that's just the opposite. So it's gonna be 90 in the counterclockwise direction. So watch out for that word, okay? And that is where I will leave you. I will end the video. Stay safe, study hard, and I will catch you on the next IXL tutorial. See you later. Goodbye.